You're watching APTN. Then we can begin to heal as a family because this has affected our family so deeply. Tonight, why a guilty verdict of a convicted killer was almost a mistrial. So all we're asking Marie is to leave that piece of property and find suitable property within the community. A Whitefish River First Nation woman says she has a human right to her own piece of land on the reserve. We saw, fought so hard in trying to find our place, even in the province we created. We've tried to find a home. And the Manitoba Métis Federation promises a better future for the Red River Métis. Good evening, welcome to APTN National News. I'm Melissa Ridgen. Justice has been served for a Calgary woman and her family after her accused killer was found guilty of first degree murder. Tamara Pimentel has the details. The Baptiste family is relieved as three years of fighting for justice comes to an end. Curtis Healy was found guilty of first degree murder in the death of 31 year old Don's Echoes Baptiste. Oh, it was just a big relief. It's like, oh my God, because we just didn't think that anything was like this was going to happen. But we turned around, we just made sure that everything, you know, we stood together, we stood strong, we prayed. God answered our prayers. In 2015, Baptiste's body was found in a backyard in Northeast Calgary. The trial heard Healy stomped her head, raped her, and struck her in the head with a large rock. Healy has been sentenced to life in prison with no chance of parole for 25 years. I'm just so glad that this is finally over and that we, we all can move on and we can begin to heal as a family because this has affected our family so deeply. On Friday, Healy's lawyer unsuccessfully asked for a mistrial after learning sequestered jurors went for drinks at a hotel lounge where news coverage of the trial was shown. The six-man, six-woman jury ultimately agreed with the Crown on Healy's guilt. Baptiste had four children ages 5 to 13. Her family says before her death, she completed treatment and got a full-time job. Her family says while their lives are changed forever, they now can continue their healing journey and remember Baptiste with dignity. Tamara Pimentel, APTN National News, Calgary. For the second time in three years, an elder from a northern Ontario First Nation has been forced to relocate. APTN's Annette Francis tells us more about the struggles of a 65-year-old woman fighting to keep a roof over her head. This 